Hi, Julie Watts here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're going to have a bit of a pick and flick through one of the new Sentimentally Yours creative packs. This is a new product from Sentimentally Yours and there are three uh, in this initial release and this one is called Harmony Blue. It's hard to choose the favourite. I think this might be my favourite because I'm looking at it right now but uh, the other ones are Rose Garden and Tropical Paradise and there are videos to go with those as well. So this is a brand new concept from Sentimentally Yours and um, Phil has never created a paper pack like this before and it is actually more of a card pack. It's They're all 250 GSM, it's acid and lignin free, all the sheets are single sided and in this pack there are 254 elements plus a bonus design on this front cover. Uh, there's 24 A4 sheets, two sheets of each, and there's 12 designs. So I've pulled out one sheet of each design to show you. Um, and as it said, they are 250 GSM, so they are a card weight, a light card weight. Um, this is your bonus panel, obviously, and then you can see the contents of the, pa of the pack here. But these here are quite plain in the middle, so you can easily um, die cut small dies, dies out of there, like your stamens and things like that. So it's all very, very useful. So let's have a look. So we've got lots of elements where you've got um, this, this kind of thing. You could just um, cut it out, mat and layer it, pop a sentiment on, you've got a card. Job's done. We've also got uh, panels where you can put sentiments on, or they could be you could um, change the tops to make um, um, flags or tags if you wanted to. Um, you've got some like book panels here. You've got some um, corners, and you've also got some circles. Now I find circles really difficult to cut out, so on all mine I've cut them out using either the double debossed. Um, uh, dies from uh, sentimentally yours and all the stitch tool and circles as well but you know you might have other circles in your stash that you can use really good weight really useful and you might recognize some of these flowers if you've had the papillon paradise compendium box kits some of these flowers uh, were used in some of the blue and yellow papers in that so if you've got any of that left over then that will probably coordinate in this quite nicely uh, so on this sheet you've got some uh, tags, uh, you've got some great borders which are the um, A5 start in length uh, and you've got a couple of topper pieces here as well. Obviously if you wanted to cut the heart out you could use the heart separately um, or if you don't want to use tags you can actually die cut these into whatever shapes you want to. Remember we've got loads of tags and flags and things in our stash haven't we? So on this sheet we've got uh, two very long borders, so these are your full length of your A4 and you've got some um, sort of uh, plates here for you to add your sentiments. You have got sentiments on this sheet too. Uh, you've got cherish, believe, love, dream and treasure. And these are um, used throughout, um, so these are going to be great for your journals or just uh, different uh, affirmations that you might want to add to your cards. You've got some kind of shiny buttons here, you can pop them onto these kind of grommets if you want to and we've got some labels um, here. Again if you don't want to cut them out you can change the shape by using your dies. Again some big circles here and I, I've cut mine out with, with the circle dies. Uh, we've got some uh, great sentiments, best wishes in two different colours, enjoy today in two different colours, just for you in two different colours. Three happy birthdays because we're going to use those a lot, with love and someone special. Uh, obviously everything's coordinated, everything's kind of blue and yellow in this kit. And you've got a, a border and some lovely little flowers that you can fotty cut and add. And there are flowers here, they're lighter, obviously they're the white colour. Um, and Phil's put um, coloured backgrounds on all of the papers so um, if you want if you have got some little tiny dies or if you've got some little punches you can punch out the rest of it if you want to and there's also somewhere to put your tape if you're actually die cutting so this one you've got a big square piece obviously you can just use it as it is it does give the effect of it being matte and layered already but if you wanted to layer it up you can cut that out and then um, foam tape that on top of this piece here if you wanted to. These are a bit wonky 
so that helps when you're cutting them out uh, dream love sweet and dance then you've got another two long borders some rounded top tags this time and some more embellishments two huge um toppers here square toppers um with the border already done for you the corners already done for you and it coordinates with some of the other elements that we've got already but this is something that's made to go on the front of your card all you need to do is add yourself a sentiment perhaps a die cut sentiment or you can use one of the new edge dies um, along the edge there and you, you you're good to go you, you've got it all made already you've got some smaller tags here and again some more buttons all the space is used lots and lots of elements then we've got some um they're not quite a6 uh toppers here and uh, a load of the um the word sentiments again treasure believe uh, cherish love and dream in the two different colors really easy to cut out and then we're on to the papers the beautiful beautiful papers so you could if you wanted to you could just um, score this down the middle and use that as your card blank that would be absolutely beautiful um, you could um, these probably I wouldn't cut down into a6 but you could use them as a5s and mat and layer them uh, really really pretty I do love this colorway I like them all but uh, it's difficult to choose I definitely would buy at least one of each I think these are going to fly so um you know you might want to get two of each just saying <laughs> it's got kind of almost like a, a fabric background hasn't it really pretty and then you've got a couple of plain ones here which are always used to, useful to have because then you can stamp on top of them if you wanted to or just use them to uh, mat and layer to a bit of coordination there's the blue so that is your harmony blue creative paper pack um creative pack sorry from sentimentally yours uh, brand new and it will be available from honeypotcrafts.co.uk and my website juliawattscrafts.co.uk from midnight on sunday the 5th of march thank you for watching